Be on the lookout for when I dye my hair with Wella Color Tango in Paprika. I'm super excited about it. Yay! Woo woo! I'm so happy with how it turned out. I feel like I'm back in my element finally. Granted, it is a little deeper richer than I was expecting, but I love it. I think it's great. This is how I guess this level 8 color looks over level 7 hair. So here is how it turned out. I mean look at that. Isn't that pretty? If it looks lighter up here, that's from my makeup. That's my makeup powder. I tried to get that off and I couldn't. Alright, so let me tell you what I did. So, first off, I mixed everything as I'm making a mess here. I mixed everything in my mixing bowl from Sally's. Now there are these little like notches on the side and I was told that those notches, like there's numbers next to them, that those are the ounces. That's how you measure the ounces and I'm trying to see if it actually says that, if it actually says like ounces and I'm not seeing it. On a hunch today, you, you like that? Like what was this? Anyways, on a hunch today I decided to measure out um, four fluid ounces or four ounces because I wanted to have, like you know how I get weird with recipes and with instructions and I kind of want it exact? On a hunch I figured I would measure out exactly four ounces in a plastic measuring cup. Dumped it into this little bowl here and then looked to see if it went up to the four line and it didn't. It actually went to the three line. So in the past when I have thought that I was doing two ounces or four ounces I was actually doing like an ounce more. So I filled it up to the three line with the 30 developer and then I squeezed out both of my little packets of dye. It's interesting because the dye kind of comes out with this creamy color and then it kind of turns pink and then it kind of turns this like light purpley kind of color. It does create a very thick dye. That was told to me in uh, my last hair video because um, I mentioned I wanted to use a squeezy bottle and um, someone commented and said no it's too thick for a squeezy bottle. So I mixed it <laughs> And it took a while to mix. It took a, quite a while to mix it. And then once I thought it was mixed, suddenly like a purple streak would show up in the bowl. And so I'm like mixing it again and I'm realizing, oh, I think it's just developing. Now remember this is 8RRV, so red, red, violet. The violet, you could see the violet as you're mixing it. You could see it like kind of pop up. So I kept mixing it, mixing it. I then used my, you know, my little brush just to apply it along the hairline and um, and then with the rest I just scooped it up and just dumped it all over my head and I applied it. It didn't take very long at all to apply it on my hair. Maybe maybe 30 seconds, maybe a minute. I did end up brushing through my hair because it was so thick I wanted to make sure it got everywhere. It was hard actually to brush through my hair with this product on it. As you can see I even did it on my ends. I am expecting my ends to lighten up uh, within the next couple washes. Already I don't know if it's visible or if you can tell, maybe if I bunch it together, it already is a little bit lighter. This is more of the color that was shown on the swatch at Sally's. So I was totally scared at first because this turned out a dark brown color on my hair. It was like dark brown with a little bit of red and I was like crud. But I told myself I said, I'm going to keep this on my hair. Whatever color it turns out, I'm going to keep it. I can't keep doing this where I apply a color, don't like it, use the vitamin C wash, um, use the vitamin C wash again, get another color, don't like it. It is not healthy on my hair. And so I told myself, I'm just going to leave it as it is. If it turns out to be a super dark brown, then okay, it turned out a super dark brown. Uh, I didn't think it would and then as time progressed, which I didn't get this on camera because my camera stops uh, every t 12 minutes I want to say. It stops and you have to like hit record again. I don't know why that is. It's just I looked it up and it's just typical. It's typical for cameras like mine. So after the 12 minutes I just didn't hit re-record. 
but it did turn very much a red. It was it was like this, but like with a vibrancy to it. There was like a big brightness to it. So it was this, but like bright on my head. Um, it does stain. I had to use a lot of the wipe off hair color removers. I love these things are great. These things work like on your sink, you know, on your cabinets, you know, everywhere that works really well to remove it. I left this on my hair between 30 to 35 minutes. It's, it is instructed to do 30 minutes or for the stubborn grays do 45. Hey guys, okay, there is one big detail that I totally overlooked and forgot to mention, and that is when I washed my hair out. Because this dye was so thick, I felt like I never got it all out. So I washed it out, and then I used my Shea Moisture Sulfate-Free Shampoo, really tried to scrub, and even then, my water was running out red. When I got out of the shower, my hair was still dripping in color. So it bled, it bled a lot, it bled on my towel. Be sure to sleep with a dark colored pillowcase or a pillowcase that you don't care will get dyed as it will bleed if your hair is wet. Be sure to wear a shirt that you don't care could get stained or a dark colored shirt while you are waiting for your hair to dry. All right, that's it, going back to the video. Another thing it mentions in here is to not use anything metal when like don't put this in a metal bowl don't like don't use anything metal to stir it up nothing like that so i don't know why i just feel like i need to state that that is it if you guys have any questions or comments leave them down below i know some of you guys use this color so i want to know what your thoughts are is this darker than what you get is this lighter than what you get and what developer do you use since i use the 30 i wonder how it would have turned out if i used the 20 but I really like it like this. So I was very pleased it turned out like this. Back in my element, I got my red hair back. So that's it. You guys have a good day. I'll catch you on the flip. Bye.